Are you thinking about moving to Houston, Texas, and you've heard about these master plan communities, but you're not quite sure exactly what they are? Maybe where you live, you've never even heard of one or they don't exist there. Well, in today's video, we're gonna dive straight into what master plan communities look like right here in the Houston area. There are tons of master plan communities popping up all around town, and they offer a totally different living experience than your traditional neighborhoods. You're gonna get everything that you could possibly think of right there in one neighborhood. You're gonna have tons of different builders, different home sizes, even so much so that you could live in one home and outgrow it and still move into another in that same master plan community. And so by the end of today's video, the goal is for you to have a really good idea of what master plan communities are, how they're laid out and structured, uh, what the process looks like to purchase a home in a master plan community. And ideally, you'll have a really good idea of whether or not a master plan community is gonna be perfect for you and your family in your next move. So if that interests you at all, stick around to the end of this video. Let's get after it right now. So I think it's only appropriate to answer the first question, which is what is a master plan community? So a master plan community, unlike some older neighborhoods, is where one developer goes in and purchases a whole bunch of land. It could be any size ranging on the small side around a thousand acres all the way up to 30,000 acres. And really the, the developer's goal is to get a really good piece of land that's kind of closer into some of the existing suburbs. And so they'll purchase that land and they'll start development. Now, when we talk about master planned communities, they date back here in the Houston area back to the early 70s. That's when you started to see uh, some big well-known communities start to pop up. You may have heard of Kingwood or the Woodlands. Both of those were early stage master planned communities. Now, whenever we talk about master planned neighborhoods these days, they're a little bit different than the Woodlands. So the Woodlands, for example, was 28,000 acres and it was developed by the Howard Hughes Corporation and it took over 40 years to develop the Woodlands. In fact, they're still developing some commercial sites as we speak. They're about to do a renovation up at the mall. Now, that's not what we're talking about here today. The, the Woodlands, in my opinion, is doesn't fall into the category of master planned neighborhoods. Um, what I wanna talk to you about today is master planned neighborhoods. And what that is, typically they're anywhere between 1,000 to about 12,000 acres. And the developer purchases the land and they're the sole developer of it. Now, they might sell some land off uh, for commercial development down the road, but it's gonna be part of their plan from the beginning. So. They're gonna build one section at a time. And so the way that it'll work is the developer will develop the first section and then let's just say they want to bring in 12 different home builders. What they'll do is they'll create a master plan for the neighborhood and the different sections will have different sized lots in them. And then what they'll do is they'll consult with different builders and they'll decide which builders they wanna sell these lots to. So typically the way that it will work is they'll have products ranging from 40 feet wide all the way up to 80 feet wide, depending on the neighborhoods. And whenever we say wide, just so that you understand what we're talking about, we mean that the front width of the lot is 40 feet wide, or the front width of the lot is 80 feet wide. And basically in any master plan community, the smallest products you're gonna see in the Houston area are gonna be 40 foot wide lots with 30 foot wide homes set on them with a five foot build line on each side. Now. Uh, the same thing applies to the 80 foot lots. They're gonna have a five foot build line on each side, which means the homes can be 70 feet wide. And so you're gonna see new construction homes in master plan communities in 40 foot products, starting maybe just below 300,000 in some areas, ranging all the way up to two plus million for some of these bigger 80 foot products. Um, and so there's gonna be everything in between. And so as a developer goes and builds out a new section, what they'll typically do is they'll lump the lots together. So they'll have one section of 55 foot products and then they'll sell half of those lots to one builder and they'll sell half of those lots to another builder. Now, in some cases, they'll sell them to three different builders for a section. 
And in rare cases, they'll sell them to just one builder. Um, but for the most part, you can expect that whenever you go into any master plan community, there'll be two or three builders building on similar sized lots. Now, real quick, if this is your first time to our channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about living right here in Houston, Texas, or master plan communities, then subscribe to our channel and tap that bell for notifications. And we will keep you up to date on everything going on right here in Houston. My name is Kyler Ferris and our team gets calls, texts, emails all the time from people just like you that are watching our videos online, trying to figure out which master plan community is perfect for them here in the Houston area. So if that's you, don't be shy. Like we always say, give us a call, shoot us a text or send us a quick email. That way we can help you make a smooth move right here to Houston, Texas. Um, each builder is gonna build their own products. And so what you typically find is that the products that are all the 40 foot products are gonna have similar finishes, similar upgrades, but there might be a few smaller distinctions amongst the builders. You know, one builder might have a better home warranty, one builder's uh, base finishes might just be a little bit more elevated, a little bit nicer. And then as you work your way up into some of the larger homes, you're gonna start to get a lot more variety because the homes are gonna be more expensive, they're gonna be larger, and they're gonna be a lot more customizable. And so there are over 113 master planned neighborhoods here in the Houston area. Now, there's not 113 that people are still building in. Most of the master plan neighborhoods that we help clients with are gonna be actively developing. For where I live, I live in a master plan neighborhood as an example, and we're just past halfway in the development. So there's resale homes out here from people that you know maybe have lived here three or four years that are moving, but there's still new construction opportunities as well. And so when you are looking to buy in a master planned neighborhood, it's really important to understand how they develop these neighborhoods so that you can get the perfect home for you. So you really are gonna have two main options when it comes to buying a home in a master plan neighborhood. So your first option would be to start planning as far out in advance as possible. And really the first step is gonna be to talk to somebody like myself or somebody on our team um, that way we can advise you on the perfect timeline for your situation. Everybody's different. Some people call us and they need to be in a home in a month and there's an option for you. But if you've got time, um, then the first option is gonna be you can build from dirt. We call it a dirt build. And what that means is that you would go and you would pick the lot that you want and that lot has already been sold to one of the builders. And so you'd meet with the builder, make sure it's the builder you wanna work with, with the lot you wanna work with. You'd pick the floor plan and then you would go to the design center after you put it under contract and you would pick everything out. And in the smaller products, the 40 foot products, that build time usually takes six to seven months. And as you work your way up, the build times get longer and longer. Uh, 60 foot products typically can take anywhere on the, the short side from eight months all the way up to about 11 months. And in those 80 foot products, the build times can easily reach a year or slightly beyond a year. And so it's important to know what you want because not only can that build time take a while, but the other thing that a lot of people don't consider is the developer is developing one section at a time quite often. And so you also have to factor in the timing of the new sections. So if you go to a builder now and that builder and you want an 80 foot lot and there's only three left in this section and you don't like them, you might have to wait until they release the next section and they might not be finished with the next section to release it to the builders for another five months. So you realistically could be looking at a year and a half wait time, maybe even two years. And so it's important to uh, have a professional that can tell you all of this information and help plan it out for you. Uh, you know, a lot of times I'll have clients call me and they'll say, I want a lot that backs up to no rear neighbors. I want it to be on the perimeter of the neighborhood, backing up to a reserve. I want a big pie shaped cul-de-sac lot. And that's totally doable, but you have to know how to get that because out of, let's just say a hundred lots, there might only be three or four lots that meet that specific criteria. And so if that's the highest priority for you, you're gonna wanna plan out your move. So yeah, the first option is a dirt build. The second option is going to be, you find the neighborhood that you like, you walk in, you talk to the salespeople at the different model homes, and you find a inventory home that's either currently completed or is almost completed, and you sign a contract on it and you close as soon as the home is finished being built. Now, in this, uh, instance, you're typically going to get a slightly better deal on the home because 
Uh, that builder won, the home's almost ready, so they need to sell it. Whereas a dirt build, they've got 12 months, you know, so they can kind of hold out and keep the prices high. But the other thing too, is they've already picked everything out and typically um, they're gonna put, you know, uh, less upgrades in the homes for these inventory homes than if you were to go to the design center yourself, because let's be honest, we're all gonna get carried away in the design center. I know that I did. Um, and so, so anyways, you could find an inventory home that you really love and that would be a great option for you. That's really where you're gonna get your, your deals in master plan neighborhoods, but you might, you might compromise on the lot or on the countertops. You know, it might not be exactly what you would pick. And so the ideal situation is you find an inventory home that you love, that's ready when you're looking, that has everything that you like, and you're gonna get the best deal on that. But if you want to pick everything out, you're probably gonna have to go the dirt build route, you're gonna plan it out more, and you're gonna end up paying a little bit more because it's more customized. And so, and then there is a third option. So the other option would be to buy a resale home in one of these neighborhoods. You know, here in the next 10 years, a lot of the current master plan neighborhoods are gonna be completely built out. My neighborhood will be done, uh, some of the other master plan neighborhoods around me will be done. And so they're running out of land uh, closer into Houston. So a lot of these, these communities are popping up further and further and further outside of Houston. And so there really is only a handful of master plan neighborhoods that are still within that 45 minute commute into downtown. And so uh, it is something that, you know, you probably want to start planning if your goal is to be in a master plan neighborhood. Now, uh, the other thing I'll say, and I touched on it in the intro, is the cool thing about these master plan neighborhoods is they they have everything. So my neighborhood, for example, has a ton of commercial development up at the front. You can hop in your golf cart and you can literally drive up to the Home Goods or to the Super Kroger or to Dick's Sporting Goods or Summer Moon Coffee, and you can you can literally not leave your neighborhood. You can do curbside to go for food and uh, there's restaurants. So they do a really good job of pulling everything into these communities. Uh, my wife's nail salon is right at the front of the neighborhood. Our friends just opened a restaurant in our neighborhood. So it, it creates this really nice dynamic and this really nice lifestyle. The other thing that's probably my favorite part about master plan neighborhoods is gonna be the community aspect. When you live in one of these master plan neighborhoods, uh, you don't just have to get lucky with getting good neighbors, right? If you buy a resale home in an established neighborhood, it's kind of like playing roulette. You're gonna find you're gonna find out if you like your neighbors or not. But when you buy in these master plan uh, neighborhoods, there's community events every week. We have a director of fun in our neighborhood planning these events, and so it's really easy to connect with people. We have I would say like 30 couples that are all in the same life stage as us, all raising kids together, sending kids to the same schools or the same gymnastics or you name it, we're trick or treating together. And so it just makes it so easy to meet people in your life stage. And there's all different life stages in these master plan communities. Um, my mother and my mother-in-law both live in the same neighborhood as us and they have their respective uh, communities within Grand Central Park. And so it really is the highlight of living here. And so what's been great for us is when you buy into one of these master plan neighborhoods, you might grow out of your house. But the good news is they build a wide range of housing opportunities where if you outgrow your space, you can buy a bigger home in that same neighborhood and you don't have to leave that community. A lot of older neighborhoods all of the homes are similar sizes and similar price points. And so if you outgrow your home, you have to move to a different neighborhood. But in these master plan neighborhoods, they've got a little bit of everything for everyone. They even have townhomes in some cases. That's what we lived in initially when we moved into our master plan neighborhood. And then we built our dream home that we plan on living there till our kids get out of high school. And so um, that really sums up how master plan communities are set up, how they're structured. There's tons of different developers building these. Now, what you will start to see is you'll start to see a pattern. A lot of the master plan communities are built by the same developers. And so you'll see a theme throughout some of the communities and you'll know just through driving around or talking with us, which ones you're gonna gravitate towards most. Some are a little bit more community focused. Some have slightly more amenities per households in the neighborhood and they're all gonna have their own unique features. Like one master plan neighborhood here in Houston, actually two or three of them have lagoons, which we have a vlog on, be sure to check that out. So literally like one has a two acre, one has a 12 acre lagoon in the neighborhood. It doesn't get much more crazy than that. And so they're all gonna have their own unique things. Some are gonna have more established trees, 
Some are gonna have the cool resort style pools, but um, all that to say, there's plenty of options for master plan neighborhoods when you're looking to move to Houston. So be sure to plan out your move. Um, if we can help in any way, like we always say, be sure to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us a quick email. That way we can help you pick the perfect master plan community for you and your family. Now, thanks for watching. Go check out some of our other videos. We've got tons of videos on all the Houston suburbs, as well as a lot of these master plan neighborhoods. And we're going to keep rolling them out for you guys. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.